we're welcoming you and uh, we're just sharing about the things that God tells us about because mm -hmm. we think in the middle of all this contagion that everybody is scared of that God is more contagious than anybody Absolutely. and he has such life to pour into us mm -hmm. and here we are we're just talking back and forth before we started this mm -hmm. and and just recognizing his hand on our lives Absolutely. simply because we're trusting him we're mm -hmm. not any big stuff we're just saying mm -hmm. Lord we need you mm -hmm. if things are happening around us we right. need to know how to proceed and so right. on right. so if you will subscribe on that little subscribe button down there you can get continuing shows mm -hmm. and um, we're just gonna jump right in right now y'all yes and we have an email also down there yes. on the screen please uh, send us an email and ask any questions we'll be able to respond back to you mm -hmm. and and your comment means mm -hmm. really a lot to us so, Praise God. Yes, uh, I mean, uh, again, we are real people here, Jackie and I, just as real, as plain as we can be. Mm -hmm. But we have this big God that, that we serve that has been helping us a lot and give us and through us our journey. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of people right now, I mean, fear is still a factor even now mm -hmm. in the world. Uh, nobody's exempt. It's just like this uh, cloud of mm -hmm. fear coming mm -hmm. to us and, and trying yes. to disturb what God has started in all of us. Wow. But we have noticed something. I say, you know what, fear can come, but God has reminded us mm -hmm. in the book of Isaiah that fear not, I am your God. Yes. I'll uphold you. Yes. I'll uphold you with my right hand. Yeah, so yeah. that's the comfort for us. Yes, huge. And uh, since we've been in the pandemic, since we've been staying home, mm -hmm. a lot of things have happened. Um, a losing job was one of them, but it looks like we're going through a, spe a special process. Yes. So this special process require a trust. Absolutely. So, and I believe is a trust in our God yes. that will help us to cross over. Amen. That's so, exactly right. Yes. It mm -hmm. doesn't require mm -hmm. um, huge things from uh, uh, in a knowledge bank. It mm -hmm. requires trusting in God. Mm -hmm. That's why this Bible is so very important. Right. Mm -hmm. Even in our fear, I mm -hmm. think it's um, in the Psalms, you know, maybe David wrote, at which time I am afraid, mm -hmm. I will trust in God. Yes. That's the yes. very time to put your trust Absolutely. in God. Right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Amen. And we have these. Proverb three, yeah. You know, I remember back in the uh, days. You know, I I I read Proverb three, but most of the time I used to concentrate on five, six, and seven, mm -hmm. because it said, "Trust in the Lord with all your heart, yes. lean not unto your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will direct your path." Right. And I read now, being in a being quarantine, staying home, colonia with God, have a fellowship with yeah. Him. I realized that that is not it. This is, I just started, it's like you're holding, um, uh, you're starting a story in the middle. Good <laughs> you one. don't know what Good it says one. in the beginning. Yes. So when I started in the beginning, Go to the can beginning we do that? Here. Yeah, can Read we do it. that? Yes. It said, my son, do not forget my law, mm. but let your heart mm. keep my command. Hallelujah. That's the first thing. So I should know first God loves. It helps. And I said, that's how. <laughs> then I will know how to trust that Him. So what good. do you want to trust in somebody that you don't even know? Thank you. Well, you can't trust somebody. You better not trust somebody you don't know. People get in trouble that way. Absolutely. Just imagine you see somebody on the street. He said, hey, Jackie, come over here. Yeah. Uh, would you like me to say, mm. Excuse me, I don't know you. Uh -huh. So I, right. first I want to know you before I even start to converse yes. with you. Yes. So my son, my daughter, it's not about gender. It's my mm -hmm. son, my daughter. That's right. That's do right. not forget my law. Yes. And the law, this is the book of the law. Yes. It's the Bible. Yes. That's our guideline. That's what is guiding us. Absolutely. So once we trust them, once we, we do not forget the law, and we have to let our heart to keep all his command, mm. his principles. You know, Martin, mm. sometimes people don't even like the word law. 
I know. But I have kids. You have <laughs> yes, kids? Yes, I do. Um, Three of them. <laughs> they did not want uh-huh. a law on mm-hmm. them at a certain mm-hmm. age. I mean, mm-hmm. at a younger age, mm-hmm. it's all part of the process, yes. right? Yes. But at a certain point, they go, I'm a big girl. Mm-hmm. I'm a big girl. I'm going to do what I please. Mm-hmm. And in fact, they do in spite of the mm-hmm. law. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're not going to go off on that tangent. Yeah. But mm-hmm. the point being that... Um, guidelines are essential here just look at what's happening in our country Mm -hmm. as Mm -hmm. things are being toppled over whether that's laws Mm -hmm. or statues Mm -hmm. or economies Mm -hmm. or cities Mm -hmm. all of it being trashed Mm -hmm. and what did it accomplish well Mm -hmm. somebody got their energy out and Mm -hmm. but there's a bigger message in it all Mm -hmm. and that is if, if we are going to live without a law we better be prepared for the repercussions Absolutely. And it's not pleasant. It's not pleasant at all. No. Have you ever seen a country with no law? Actually, no, I haven't. Is it, it's going to be Have is, you? Is chaotic? Yeah. I really did not. No, because I grew up in a country where we had dictator. So that was another Ooh. story. That's Ooh. completely something See, else. I'm telling you. No. Oh, we don't want to go there. Maybe that will be another subject next time. Yeah. To explore. But just coming to uh, any place that do not have law is it's a is a chaotic mm-hmm. even in a home oh, yeah for let's sure. say you don't have got lines with your children mm-hmm. do mm-hmm. you think you're gonna come up it's like everything goes <laughs> oh you can sleep at three you can sleep at ten you can eat anytime you want you can yeah. eat on a chair no if if you don't have got lines you have disorder that's right that's right, mm-hmm. that's right. And what do you do with that? You don't get far. Everything, everything that everybody hopes mm-hmm. is going to be theirs, mm-hmm. it just all gets ripped mm-hmm. up and torn up because mm-hmm. nobody has a guideline. Right. You right. know, so I'll mm-hmm. step all over mm-hmm. their rights and they'll step all over mm-hmm. my rights and mm-hmm. all that stuff. Mm-hmm. There's a reason why mm-hmm. God set law and order mm-hmm. into the world. Absolutely. It's, it's not something that man made up. No. So, wow, with God. we with may God. just be getting started on yes, this. Yes, it started but, with um, God. That's what we need to start with yes. that. We understand God laws. We understand God command. And we understand also, he said, uh, let not mercy and truth forsake you. Bind them around your neck. Wow. <laughs> and yes. write them on a tablet of your heart. Yeah. I'm telling you, we are living in a very critical Time. Oh boy, yes we are. And whether you're a believer or not, uh, you better watch out what you have in your heart. Mm-hmm. Because people are, you people that are creating turmoil is because of what they possess in their heart. Yes. You yes. know, whatever you possess in your heart, that's what's going to start out. to come out and yes. spill out. Mm-hmm. And I'm praying that, and, and for us believers, that's why I say, oh, I'm praying that people will come to know Christ to come to know this law and regulations Absolutely. and this command because yes. this will help you give you peace in this time. Mm-hmm. Once you bind them on your neck, yes, you put on a tablet of your heart, yes. the word of God I'm saying, mm-hmm. you will have peace where there is no peace. Hallelujah. Listen, this is some of the simplest pieces to yeah. the gospel of, yeah. of Christ mm-hmm. or the Bible as a whole mm-hmm. right from the beginning. It's all about knowing the Lord, mm-hmm. about loving him with all your heart, your soul, yes. your mind, your strength. Yes, absolutely. And then your neighbor. Absolutely. Ah, just like that. Wow. With all your heart. And so it's like you put yes. them first. Yes. And that mm-hmm. becomes the law of kindness in mm-hmm. your life. hmm you're yeah. talking about our neighbors and I think that's what also we having this the the law and the command of the Lord in our heart yes that's what compel us to treat our neighbor right because we are loving God yeah. first we know him we know how he has treated us yes so now we look at the neighbor we want to treat them the same way God has treated us Amen. we want to pour the same love Amen. that God has poured in us yes and people are seeking hope right now yes we do have it oh my gosh yes. right here we do have it and now mm-hmm. after all these years of walking with him mm-hmm. and I'm sure it's probably a decade or two or three mm-hmm. right we have this body of experience that mm-hmm. says this can be trusted yeah this can be trusted that- when I first knew about a Bible, mm-hmm. uh, somebody said, you probably need to read the Bible. And I said, why? <laughs> and um, I said, well, 
where can I get one? And mm -hmm. he said, I just happened to have one here. Mm -hmm. uh, I ended up having to buy it, but I, I traded it for a pair of clogs. You know what oh, clogs wow. are? Okay. You know, fixed, uh, sold shoes uh -huh. like back uh -huh. in this. Why can it? A long time ago. Whenever, right? Right? So I traded off. Uh -huh. Shoes go. And mm -hmm. I thought, I really like those shoes. Yeah. But I got this Bible. I brought it home. I said, what's the first thing I'm going to read? What mm -hmm. did I ever hear about? Mm -hmm. mm, up to that point, nothing. Mm -hmm. Except mm -hmm. for maybe First Corinthians. Mm -hmm. The long chapter. <laughs> okay, 13. Yay. And so I opened it up. I finally found it. I found right. it back here. And I didn't mm -hmm. know it was my baby there. Mm -hmm. And I didn't understand a word. And that can be a problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I needed to be born again. Mm -hmm. I needed my heart to have a changeover. Mm -hmm. And that's what it takes for people mm -hmm. who have not grown up with mm -hmm. the law of God, which is mm -hmm. a good law, the law of kindness. And mm -hmm. just, you know, but I didn't grow up that way. Mm -hmm. You may be at that place right now. Mm -hmm. You're hearing about a Bible verse and you're going, so what? Yeah. Right? Anybody yeah. could say anything. Yeah. But yeah. we have decades of experience having mm -hmm. trusted in the God who is portrayed in this mm -hmm. book mm -hmm. and we're not going to let it go because he's tried and true yeah his yeah. words are tried and found to absolutely. be reliable absolutely absolutely so that's why we're here that's, that's why we here. are talking with each other mm -hmm. jamming with each other and mm -hmm. if if you have any questions or comments do email us yes please we appreciate it mm -hmm. Is that all we need to say right now? Right now, yes. God bless you guys. God bless you. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Okay.